am Kenny Anderson, Director of Multicultural Affairs for the City of Huntsville, and welcome to Impact. Each week we bring you information about exciting things that are happening right here in our community, and today will be no different. You know, every other Friday, a very exciting time takes place somewhere in the city. It moves around a little bit, but nonetheless, it's always exciting, and it really has become the place to be at 7.45 a.m. every other Friday. Here to talk about what that outstanding, stimulating, and percolating event is, is none other than Vicki Morris. She is the host and... Co-chair. Co-chair of Hot Coffee, and I'm so glad to have you here today to talk about this wonderful event. How are you doing? Thank you. Very well. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm really excited about being here on the show. Well, good. And one of the things that happens in Hot Coffee is that you lend a lot of energy to the process as the host. You yes. actually do a great job of doing it. But let's tell people what Hot Coffee is, first of all. Okay, Hot Coffee is actually an acronym, Huntsville Open Tech. And it's gener generated with the whole idea for high-tech startups to have an opportunity con to connect and network with other like-minded businesses. And we wanted to do it so that it encourages the entrepreneurial startup community. There's no fee, it's free to come. We make it easy to network with people and we, we have people from students to retirees, people in big business, small business, have an idea. No business. No business. <laughs> Just want something to do on a Friday morning. Everyone is welcome, and I hope that everyone gets something out of it. I have not heard anyone tell me that it was a total waste of my time. Yeah. So everyone seems to get something beneficial out of it, if nothing else, to connect with other people. So essentially to start it with this concept that this is a community that is a progressive community, mm -hmm. it is a growing community, and it is a diverse community mm -hmm. that includes a lot of people who have that entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial spirit. They want to get a business started, they have started a business, they're interested in supporting other people in starting businesses, and what if we could just get those folk in a room on a particular day and see what happens? Right. And that really has become the formula for hot coffee. Yes, yes. I mean, we've had um, people such as Bob Barron, you know, to come and speak to hot coffee. Very successful weatherman and Absolutely. businessman in our community. Yes, and, you know, nationally and even internationally known because of his weather systems. And he came and took his time to come and speak to our group. That's very encouraging for someone who's just starting out. At some point in time, he had a great idea mm -hmm. that just resided in his head and he took a chance. Mm -hmm. Other people need that en encouragement and he was phenomenal in um, getting people encouraged and telling people about his startup story. That's the focus of our presenters. We don't want people to come and do a sales pitch because you, know, you hear sales pitches all the time, but we want to hear your journey, the things that you learned on your road to success. Uh, one of our speakers had um, a great phrase that he said, we fail forward. What did you learn through your failures? How did that help you to your next success? These are things that, you know, if you're big and successful, everyone just sees the success. Well, as a startup, as an entrepreneur, we need to know that there are pitfalls, there are heartaches, there are failures. How do you deal with that? How do you overcome from that? How do you not let that pigeonhole you and say, oh, it's not really a good idea? Mm -hmm. But it's great to hear these, these types of stories from people who have made it. Because that's what people connect with. I mean, right. people that come to Hot Coffee and those that will in the future will be able to interact with people and engage with people who have similar stories, right. similar ideas, similar journeys, or maybe dissimilar journeys. But the mm -hmm. idea is that you've got this room full of people who have an idea, mm -hmm. or they have an interest, or they have a curiosity, or they have a commitment to doing something, or a passion, mm -hmm. or a dream. Mm -hmm. And I think for me, that's really what's been exciting about Hot Coffee. Now, I am a small business owner. I have a small business mm -hmm. um, doing consulting, business and management consulting, and um, have had that business now for a little over 20 years. So mm -hmm. uh, Hot Coffee makes sense to me at a couple of levels. First of all, as Multicultural Affairs Director for the city, Mm -hmm. I want to be connected with things that I can connect other people to, but for my own self, I benefit from it mm -hmm. because it allows me a chance to expand my network. Mm -hmm. And so I just wonder if you can give us a little bit more about some of the benefits of coming to Hot Coffee because you do have some great presenters. Mm -hmm. You have, I think, the core of this whole experience is the networking opportunity, which even though the presenters are great and mm -hmm. there are opportunities for people to do that, I don't think any of us are sitting there like, 
in a situation where we can't wait to right. get to the networking part because we've heard from people, we now see people, we've identified people, and now we want to talk on that small group level. So talk about some of those extra benefits of hot coffee. Well, one thing that we want to encourage people to do, one of our core values is give before you get. Come there with the mindset, how, am I, how many people am I going to help today? I know that I've invited my friend to come, and I know that she could benefit from knowing this other friend. I'm going to make sure I connect them. Have that mindset. And I encourage people when they come, and if you're new, you get to stand up and introduce yourself. And I ask people to keep it to 30 seconds because everyone's introduction is important, but I encourage people to take notes. Listen to the introductions. Is that someone that can benefit you or that you can benefit? Um, can you invite them into your circle of influence and find out ways to help each other? And by helping someone else, it, if nothing else, it makes you feel good knowing that you've done that to help them along their journey. And just so happen, it might help you to your next client, your next close. Yeah. So it's, it's a constant circle of influence and giving and receiving. So how can somebody prepare for their first hot coffee experience? Well, I tell people, the first thing that people always say, oh, it's so early. Yes, <laughs> it is early. But once you get over that, the energy that you get from that, um, just meeting people, you don't know what types of people are going to be there. I tell people their municipalities uh, represented, each chamber, the Madison Chamber and the Huntsville Chamber participate. You have uh, Cummings Research Park businesses there. You have retirees that are there that Academic are... Academic institutions. Absolutely. So you never know who's going to be there. Mm -hmm. So I tell people, bring a fresh uh, spirit with you, bring plenty of business cards, take notes, and... Uh, have an open mind about this and we want to keep it free that's a, a key thing we keep it free so there are no barriers to entry if you're a small startup you probably have no money <laughs> so <laughs> you can't afford all of these expensive membership driven um, entities not that we are discouraging people from uh, joining those but this is another valuable piece of the puzzle and it's a the, the pain point it's 7.45 on Friday morning. Yeah. That's the only pain point. But you know what the truth is this. Most people are probably, who, who are working during the day, most people right. are probably up by that time anyway. Absolutely. And they're probably, you know, if they're in their normal routine, maybe they're dragging around the house and they're trying to get themselves together or they're making their way to work. So right. it really isn't that big of a sacrifice. And I'm going to tell everybody listening as I talk to you today that it really is worth the investment. I have a lot of people that come to me saying that they're looking for jobs, that they just moved to the community, that they're looking to get connected. And I always reference hot coffee. I said, look, it's 7.45 in the morning, but the early bird still catches the worm. That Absolutely. is the reality in life. And that you need to come there fully prepared to engage with people, to be just you know excited about being there because you just don't know who's gonna be in the room like you said. Right, I've invited um, a couple of people on a personal level that are personal friends of mine that were looking for jobs. They're employed now, yeah. you know, and you know, that may just be an isolated situation, but it happened. They got connected, they met different people. They didn't meet the people, they met the people that I had intended to introduce them to, but as they were talking, they met other people who extended connections to them and these are great friends of mine, and they actually got, they got jobs. And I've heard people announce jobs yes. at Hot Coffee. Yes. So I'm looking for someone, yes. or I know somebody who's looking for someone. Absolutely. I also know there's a job club, and there's always an yes. announcement about the job club at Hot Absolutely. Coffee. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we work in concert with a lot of other organizations. Our basic format, we want to be kind of the hotel lobby. So everything happens in the hotel lobby, kind of everybody congregates, and then you move on to other things and other organizations, but it all comes back to the hotel lobby. We want to be that ground floor of connecting and networking, and we want people, we want you to go off and start or other organizations, but come back and tell us how it's going at Hot Coffee. Yeah. That's encouraging to one another. And another thing with, with, the, uh, with the pain point that is at 745, so many people will come back and tell me, 
man, I got there a little late. I'm so sorry. I'm going to work really hard to get there mm -hmm. first thing when it starts next time because I feel like I missed so much. Yeah. So once you get there, <laughs> you get it. You understand. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't leave people high and dry. I mean, the name of the group is Hot Coffee. And what would a hot coffee group be without hot coffee? Absolutely. And I know that you all have had some great options for coffee. You've had some mm. great options for some, you know, breakfast snacks and some great sponsors out there that have provided that mm -hmm. support. And we certainly want to thank all of those people that contribute to making this a very rich experience. And I know that you're very interested in leading this process and connecting people Tell people how they can get more information about hot coffee. I know there, there are many points of uh, contact. <laughs> well, we have a newsletter that I uh, manage, and I put it out. It's coming about every week now. <laughs> um, Which I is put a great in, commitment, by the way. Yes, it is a very <laughs> st stiff commitment. But um, it's a newsletter that goes out, and we have... Right now, 693 people on our contact list, wow. which is growing. And we send that out to every, all of these people. And you can send me a flyer about an announcement that your organization is having. Um, I do a, a special ad for our sponsor. Hot Coffee is a non-entity. We are not incorporated. We are not a nonprofit. We have no legal entity. So we need support from other companies. Um, there have been several banks that have said, well, yes, we'll sponsor Hot Coffee. Mm -hmm. Well, what that does, that enables me to get catering from another small business. Mm -hmm. That enables me to do some marketing for them. And Hot Coffee is not designed to be a sales pitch for you, but if you are a sponsor, then you get that special, signif uh, <laughs> that special uh, significance of being able to do your sales pitch. Mm -hmm. um, and it does help you. You get to take in all of the contacts that you make that day. And it helps you grow your business. And it shows that you support small businesses. So those are different ways. And then we have a Facebook page. We have a website all working in concert with each other and everyone's welcome to join the Facebook page and even post their information there. Which is? The H Facebook page is Huntsville Open Tech. Mm -hmm. uh, the website is Open Tech Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Better say that again for some people that are scrambling <laughs> to get something to write with. Give us yes. a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Huntsville Open Tech and the website is Open Tech coffee. HOT is actually an acronym. Mm -hmm. We're in Huntsville. We have to have an acronym. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Huntsville it, says for Huntsville Open Tech. Huntsville Open Tech. Mm -hmm. And we've got, you know, maybe a couple of minutes left in the show, but tell us about the future of hot coffee. I know that you've been meeting at Hudson Alpha pretty regularly. Prior to that, you met at UA Huntsville. Mm -hmm. uh, you met for a short period of time at the Chamber of Commerce. And so mm -hmm. I'm sure there are going to be lots of other things happening. It's not so much the meeting place, it's the opportunity right. to meet. So the future of hot coffee in your mind is what? The future is bright for hot coffee. I am really, really excited about it. Um, as you said, we've been meeting for a long period of time at Hudson Alpha, and we went through a leadership um, change. And at that point, there were some scheduling conflicts. And so the Huntsville Chamber was gracious enough to say, well, we'd love to have y'all come over. And it's been phenomenal. Our reception there has been outstanding. We had over 100 people in attendance at some of our meetings at the Huntsville Chamber. So the group has grown a lot. Uh, we have lots of new visitors that are coming every week. Um, we have just as many visitors as we do regular people attending. So we will be going back to Hudson Alpha, which is a you know, who doesn't like being at Hudson Alpha? It's a beautiful facility, <laughs> but we cannot, um, you have to take into account the great reception that we had when we did move it. I was a little apprehensive that people would get so used to one place and not move when we moved, but it worked out really well. So I can't rule out not being able to take it, um, take our show on the road from time to time. Uh, we will have a home base, mm -hmm. but maybe we'll do special events. Um, to move hot coffee to different places. And people can keep up with you again on your Facebook page, which is? Huntsville Open Tech. All right, and the website? The website is Open Tech Coffee. All right, Vicki Moore, she's the host and co-chair of Hot Coffee. Thank you for coming on today and sharing all this great information with us. My pleasure. We hope that you'll take an opportunity to check out Hot Coffee. It takes place at 7.45 a.m. every other Friday. 
And uh, once you get on the schedule and once you get on the newsletter and get on the Facebook page, you'll be able to start tracking it. I encourage you to put it on your calendar and make sure that it becomes a fixture in your life. If you're looking for work, it's a great place to be. If you have a job, it's a great place to be. If you're an entrepreneur just trying to make a difference in this community or just learn from someone else, you're looking for a mentor, I mean, there are all kinds of ways to use hot coffee to your advantage, and the coffee is pretty good. We hope you'll check them out. I'm Kenny Anderson for Impact, and I hope that you also like our Facebook page at Impact with Kenny Anderson, where you can see more of this broadcast, as well as some behind-the-scenes photos of this show, as well as previous shows and future shows as well. As always, we hope that you have a great rest of the week, and we'll talk again soon. Have a great day.